everyone, it's Meg and today I am going to be reorganising my bookshelves again. If you have watched one of my previous videos, I did actually post a video about reorganising my bookshelves. I did it end of last year, just after Christmas, but I posted it in January, I think. Maybe February. I think it was January though. And I am going to reorganise them again because my bookshelves are now full and I'm running out of space so I thought I would do it again but I'm going to film it and again I know I'm doing it again but I thought I would film it because obviously this is a bigger transformation compared to how my bookshelves were before and I just thought you guys might be interested since quite a lot of you liked my last reorganize my bookshelves video so I thought I might as well film it again for you so my bookshelves are full and I'm going to have to move some of the books from here into the bookshelf on the hall because I've run out of space so then I have an extra shelf and I'm going to kind of just work it out from there so I will show you guys the situation that I have right now on my bookshelves and kind of what my plan is for them and then we will get into reorganising them So this is my bookshelf currently as you can see it is completely full with a couple of books to spare. So obviously I have all stuff on the top and that doesn't change obviously. And then this is the first shelf and this is just a mishmash of things. I've got mainly my LGBTQ plus books that are on this end. Middle there are all my TBR that excludes classics and poetry collections. And then this side is like a mixture of adults, magical realism, a couple of non-fiction books. And then second, one here is, first half here is classics, second half is poetry collection and I've got a few new classics on the top there so I'm going to have a shelf each for my poetry and my classics probably just because I am obviously run out of room. Middle shelf here is also kind of a mishmash, I have my very few fantasy books that are on the left and then I have a couple of mental health books and then it kind of goes into series and then I have some like non-fiction books like biographies and autobiographies on there and obviously some books on the top that I need doing and then this shelf is all of my children's books all the books that I read as a child and I am planning on keeping these on this shelf um, once my bookshelf is full again I will put these on the bookshelf out of the hall but for the time being I'm planning on keeping them on here and I'm going to put them on the bottom shelf and this is just a mishmash of random books like obviously you can see I've got magazines and then I've got some notepads and some non-fiction books like colouring books um, loads of like equine and horse related books and I do have a couple of non-fiction like children's books over there but it's just a mishmash so my plan is to move all of this shelf into the hallway and then I'm going to put my children's classics on this shelf down here and then that means that I have an extra shelf for my video um, I have an extra shelf to put my books on so yes that is the plan for my bookshelves so without further ado let's get reorganizing
my reorganisation of my bookshelves. I am really pleased how this turned out. I have a bit more room now that I've got rid of that shelf of books at the bottom to just kind of play with my bookshelf and kind of make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Obviously it doesn't have to look aesthetically pleasing but personally that is what I like. I didn't film the bit um, I actually reorganised the bookshelf in the hall and I didn't show you that because the light was really poor but obviously hopefully you got to see me reorganise these shelves and I am pleased how it turned out. It's really really nice and I am definitely pleased with it. I am planning on doing a bookshelf tour at some point so keep an eye out for that. I have no idea when I'm going to film it but I will make sure to do it for you guys because so then you can kind of we can go into a bit more detail about the organization for my shelves and obviously what books books I have on my shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me re once again reorganize my bookshelves. This will definitely not be the last time I make this video, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you would like to see more bookish videos from me then make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be noted every time I post a new video. As always, I will leave the links to my social media along with my blog and Goodreads in the description box down below for you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!